Welcome to today's Seokan Saturday. We've learned our Kihon for this level. At this point, now I have all my students from the very beginning, and I've done this in other videos previously, um, learn to use Makiwara and do their basic Yakuski just for positioning. That's pretty much all we've done on Makiwara up to this point is Yakuski for my students. I may have uh, some who want to do other things, and so we'll work on oizuki, or we'll work on stepping, oizuki, yaku, and combinations. But the primary use of makiwara up till now is just basic learning how to put the hit, lock in the stance, put the pressure forward. Um, and I'm not requiring any of them use impact. Okay, Hitting hard is not a requirement for my students, although obviously you're probably going to want to at a certain point start putting some juice into your punches. Um, by brown belt and up, we're starting to use other strikes as well. But the next thing for us at this point is to take all of the strikes, punches, and kicks and start some basic bag work. Now again, I have introduced bag work way back at white, yellow, orange, because the resistance on a bag and its movement is very different than the static position of punching makiwara. The corollary would be like hitting a baseball moving or a tennis ball coming at you as opposed to a golf ball sitting still, which if you ask anybody who's learning golf, that sound, oh, it's just sitting there. All I have to do is swing the club and hit it. But you can watch videos anywhere on YouTube and see how not easy that actually is. And then even if you make contact, to make that sweet contact. So we're learning the golf punt or the golf stroke basically on Makiwara. But now we're going to move up to hitting a moving ball, which fortunately you never have to do in golf. So let's say this is baseball or something else. The other idea is I need to start moving around it a little bit. I'm putting together combinations of techniques as I work on the back. At the white, yellow, and up, we're pretty much still just doing single strikes. Start in front stance, waigeri, right? Start in front stance, nokugeri, so forth. But now, at green belt, we're going to start a little bit more freeform back work and combinations. So I'm going to be looking at the student to see are they keeping their hands up. When they punch, does the hand come back dropping or does it go in and out coming back where it came from? Which again is one of the lessons of our punch here is to bring it back where it came from and then we punch from here, bring it back where it came from, then we punch from here, bringing it back where it came from. In addition to punches, we have all these other strikes that we've learned. So we have punches, we have bridge hands, palm heels, sliding elbows, come with the elbow and back fist as I demonstrate. But now I'm looking for them to put all that stuff together in a free form against the back, moving with the back. The very most basic combination that I have, pretty much all of them start with, first, static jab, rotating the hip. And we work the jab, and we work the jab. Now, we work step into the jab, step into the jab. And again, keep the guard, I want to see hands dropping. Then we work step into the jab, rotate into the punch. Step into the jab, rotate into the punch. Then we work step into the jab, rotate into the punch, follow with mawashigeri, keep the guard. And we add on. So what we're looking for with our bag work by the fourth cue, green belt level, is that I'm able to put together some combinations as I work with my bag and move around, okay? Also, we go back to the jab. So now, instead of just stepping with my jab, I'm jabbing, cross back, step, jab, cross back, step, jab, cross back, step, so that I'm circling the bag moving toward my back, and then the same thing here, boom, step, step, boom, 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 working off each hand forward. 
left hand, and then to the right hand as I come around. So now I'm adding angles of footwork to the jab at the fourth level, fourth cue. So combinations. Movement. Lastly, we look at the hook punch. Now in boxing, the hook punch goes like this, because I have a pillow on my hand. In karate, we want to have it either palm down this way, or even completely inverted, so that as I come around, my knuckles are leading the punch, which is what we see in Yanshodan, Seisan, Anaku. So from here, I'm coming around this way with my hook, either off the knee hand, okay, this way, or off the reverse hand, coming through. Come vertical or horizontal or inverted vertical position. The reason also is to keep from hitting the bag in an awkward position where my wrist can break. This allows me to keep my wrist much more firmly positioned as I strike into the back. So that's what we're looking for in my Yong Q. My fourth Q is combination strikes, a variety of hits to a variety of targets, all of my kicks, turning, everything I can come up with as I work rounds sparring with the back. That's today's evolution. I'm trying to use my kihon for impact, power, conditioning, etc. Next week, we'll move into the uh, Ipon Kumite using the Yongkyu level of, with our five attacks that we've done before. Again, thanks for joining. Hopefully that gives you some ideas of things you can do on the bag to add variety to your training. So it's not just always punch, punch, punch. There are a variety of striking surfaces that we can use. Some, there are uppercut bags. There are wall-mounted uppercut punching bags. We have in my dojo, the Makiwara. Also have my Mukjong simulator. There are all sorts of implements to learn to strike. Handheld targets, handheld striking targets of a variety. Uh, body or head bag, the iron palm bag. At the Yonkyu level, we're looking at combinations and creativity using a variety of striking surfaces, getting accustomed to impact. That's it for today. Thank you for joining as always. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff. I, I appreciate all of those who are out there. Leaving comments is great. Ask questions is even better. Go to my Facebook, my alternate YouTube page for some older videos with my instructor and other locations. And until next week, as always, keep practicing.